Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best walking shoes for women. Starting at number 5. Under Armour UA Essential Sport Style. These ultra comfy shoes are a great value for casual, everyday walking because they are roomy, supportive, and breathable. While they retail on the brand's site for $65, Under Armour often puts this highly popular sneaker on sale. I saw it go as low as $45 during testing. That's far less than $110, the average MSRP, manufacturer's suggested retail price, of athletic sneakers in 2021, according to the most recent data from Run Repeat. Compared to the other shoes I tested, the The Sport Style cost about $100 less. For the great price, you get plenty of features, too. Comfort is continually called out in the reviews, and the sport style lived up to the hype in my tests. The padded heel makes for a well-cushioned ride, with a 7.3mm heel drop and 4.75cm heel stack, or height, which is ideal for walkers who land heel first or have Achilles tendon issues. That extra support tips the scales a tiny bit, this shoe has a weight of 7.26 ounces, placing it in the mid-range for our testing data. Still, this shoe wasn't noticeably clunky, mostly because the mesh upper and soft sock liner make the shoe feel airy and weightless. The sport style was also the best walking shoe for wide feet in my tests. The width of the insole was the widest among all those I wore, preventing any lateral rubbing on the sides of my foot. If you have bunions or stand for long periods, such as when traveling and sightseeing, or in my case, watching a soccer game that goes into overtime, the sport style shoes are my pick. The spacious girth and wide toe box of these sneakers lets your feet comfortably expand and your toes splay out, with breathing room. Coming at number 4. Sorrel Kinetic Impact 2. The Sorrel Kinetic Impact 2 is a great sneaker for both everyday wear and more rigorous activities. It has a comfortable fit, and its design is excellent for stability and traction. The outsole features the brand's signature scalloped edge, which I found especially helpful for providing extra grip on slippery or uneven surfaces while also alleviating pressure from the tender underpoints of my foot. If you stand on your feet a lot during the day, the Kinetic Impact 2 is worth considering. In terms of its performance, the shoe has a cushioned midsole and a flexible, mesh upper that's breathable for all-day wear. I tested the Kinetic shoes during hot weather and my feet never got sweaty, thanks to the ventilation built into the airy upper. Style-wise, the Kinetic is a bold-looking shoe. If you plan to wear your sneakers to the office and work in a very traditional setting, this pair might turn some heads, which might actually be a good thing, depending on your take. On the downside, the Kinetic is not as light as the others I tested but that extra weight gives you added stability. The lacing system might not be everyone's taste since they run down the side of the shoe, as well as the top. But I found that extra coverage helped the shoe fit snugly to my foot, which provided additional stability. At Number 3 Hoka Clifton 9 I'll be honest, I wasn't wasn't fully sold on Hoka's wildly popular rocker style heel at first, which gently glides your foot forward with a rolling motion that can help reduce foot strain. But, after wearing the Cliftons for a while, I found them extremely comfortable and surprisingly lightweight, despite the extra cushioning and padding in the heel. I have a relatively narrow foot, and I'd say that this pair definitely felt roomy, even in the regular width size. Given that your feet swell and expand when walking, the spacious design can be a good thing, especially if you have wide feet. Hoka has built an entire franchise around the Clifton, releasing new versions of this best-selling sneaker. This latest iteration features a lighter design, it weighs 4 grams less than the previous model, which Hoka accomplished by removing the overlays and hot melts, or adhesives that bond together certain parts of a shoe. It also increased the cushioning, with a higher, 3mm heel stack that nicely supports your foot. The Cliftons are not a subtle sneaker that blends in with the rest of your look. But overtly loud sneakers are the norm now, which is a trend that Hoka helped ignite, so these shoes don't feel as out of the box as they might have few years ago. Also, if you have a prefer a leaner built shoe, you might find the ultra padded style a bit cumbersome. Yet, I found that the rocking motion does help alleviate foot pain, 
so you might put up with a little extra bulk for the additional comfort. Number 2 of my list. On Cloud 5. If you're looking for a lightweight, all-day walking shoe with a barely there feel, the On Cloud 5 is about as perfect of a shoe you can find. It weighs just 6.9 ounces, the airiest of the ones we tested. It's ideal for covering long and short distances, handling different terrains with stability and supporting your arches without adding bulk. On, a relatively new Swiss brand founded in 2010, has a dedicated following for its unique midsole, it's designed with holes that allow air to pass through and help the shoe compress vertically and laterally as you land. The design aims to cushions your feet to reduce muscle strain and also enables a smoother toe-off or launch for your foot, allowing you to move easily through your stride. I filmed slow-motion videos of my foot as I walked in this shoe versus others and noticed a subtle lift at the end of my gait cycle. Additionally, Annabelle Lamies, the Connecticut-based trainer I spoke to, cited this pair as her top pick. I'm always on my feet, and ons are my very first choice. The Cloud has a minimal heel drop of 2.5 mm and a very firm insole, making this shoe a good, stable choice for those with balance issues or anyone who wants to move fast but securely over rugged trails, cobblestone streets, or changeable terrain. The heel counter scored a moderate firm rating as well. These shoes held my foot snugly in place, almost as firmly as the Brooks with an ankle collar that didn't extend over my bone or cause chafing. The mesh upper is breathable and outfitted with thin reflective bands, which is a nice and stylish safety feature if you walk at night. The Cloud 5 also comes in a waterproof version, which I don't recommend. It's wrapped in an anhydrous membrane that seals out liquid but makes the shoe fit more tightly than the regular version, the company advises going up a half size. Still, I found that even the regular Cloud 5 has a slim fit. On my insole test, my foot extended over the sides by about 0.5 inch, which wasn't enough to cause discomfort, since I have medium to narrow feet, but could be an issue for those with wider feet. Another potential downside to these shoes is the speed lacing system. These on shoes come pre-laced with a thin cord that's knotted at both ends, the idea is that you slide your feet into the shoe and pull the cord to secure your foot. I found the cord loosened up over time. The design feature is not for everyone, and on includes a set of traditional laces with every pair for this reason. And number 1. Brooks Ghost 15. This pair tops our list of the best walking shoes because it's the most versatile option for different styles of walkers and those who want a supportive, multi-purpose sneaker. It's extremely stable, with a grippy outsole, for both speed walks and less intense jaunts along smooth and uneven surfaces. The cushioned EVA foam midsole absorbs shock during the heel strike, when your heel hits the ground, should you also do higher impact aerobic stints, such as running. Overall, there's little activity you can't do comfortably in the Brooks Ghost, and it's the shoe I now wear most consistently among all the ones tested. The Ghost is equipped with a curved insole to reduce arch stress, which is great if you suffer from sore tendons, are flat-footed or stand for long periods of time. The Ghost also has a firm heel counter, the part of the shoe that wraps around the back of your ankle, to hold the foot in place and prevent overpronation, or rolling your ankles. Note that I tested version 14 of this shoe, but the 15 is newer and more widely available online. With a 12mm heel drop, the Ghost's heel is a smidge higher than the standard 10mm for running sneakers. These shoes have a 4.25 cm heel stack, height, and 9.1 ounce weight, which was mid-range compared to other sneakers I tested. This is a moderately cushioned shoe, which is a good thing since extra padding can decrease stability. Check out this video description for latest price and more information. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.